Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we have a 2020 election prediction between Jason Kander and Donald Trump. If you remember, Jason Kander was the up-and-coming um, star of the Democratic Party in the state of Missouri in 2016. He was running for the Senate race against Roy Blunt. Um, and overall, he did lose his Senate seat. the Senate seat. It was considered a toss-up for the longest time. Then it came down to um, an ultimate ultimate defeat for the Democratic Party here. This was going to be a pickup um, to make the state a double-time Democratic state. However, it didn't work out. Um, right now, the only other Democrat from the state of Missouri is Claire McCaskill. Um, but Donald, Trump, Donald Trump's approval rating in Missouri is not so high right now, so I'm going to leave that state um, as a toss-up considering Jason Kander was extremely popular. Um, I think just some of his more left ideals definitely hurt him. Um, and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the swing states, states that I think would be considered swing states this election season um, between these two. Ms. Actually, Minnesota, not so much. Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Um, New Hampshire, one electoral vote in Maine. Um, pretty much the usual states. So we have 157 electoral votes um, that are currently, I guess, too close to call. Now we're going to fill in the Democratic side. Um, oops. Didn't we, oh, I don't know why I'm going up there. My bad. <laughs> All right, so why Illinois? The reason why I called Michigan is Donald Trump's approval rating is it just got even lower today. Um, I looked at the new statewide polls, and they're not looking well at all for the president. Um, it's not going to be easy for him to get reelected in 2020. Um, even though Jason Kander is from a state from uh, Missouri, that doesn't necessarily mean he's a conservative Democrat. In fact, he isn't. Um, and that wouldn't really help him in states like Indiana or West Virginia. So, oops, sorry about that. So we have 213 electoral votes for Jason Kander to 165 for Donald Trump. History is, is history. Nevada and Colorado are probably not going to flip. Going up to a state like New Hampshire with that drug-infested den comment, that's definitely going to hurt them. But up in the Northeast, um, you can expect one electoral vote from Maine to go to Donald Trump. Um, Georgia, we know without the conservative Democratic appeal, it's probably not going to go for anyone but the Republican. Um, the state of Virginia, pretty much a Democratic state by now. Um, after what we saw in 2017, Democrats just keep on winning it. As the recount came in, they've tied the Virginia House of Delegates, ultimately putting it in the favor of the Democratic Party because of their lieutenant governor. 50-50 um, because of a recount. The Democrats won by one vote. Um, it was 11,000-something, 808 votes, I think, to 11,807 votes. Um, that was that was crazy. Um, but I think the Democrats actually will have a majority um, or just a tie compared to Republicans holding it since the 19. Um, 90s. So we have 182 electoral votes for Donald Trump. Um, to be honest, Jason Kander is likely going to win in states like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. He has a white working class appeal. Um, his his backstory would definitely help him here, especially in presidential debates, presidential ads. Him coming from a state like Missouri, he's more of an outsider as a Democrat rather than coming from a state like New York, Illinois, Hawaii, people like that from solid Democratic states. He comes from a state where Democrats aren't necessarily that liked. And Donald Trump's approval rating in all the states left, um, not so high. But Jason Kander's reach only goes so far. I don't think he'll win in states like Florida and North Carolina, um, but I do think he'll win in his own state of Missouri. Now, that's a that's a brazen call, um, but Donald Trump's approval rating is low, lower here than it is in New Hampshire and Nevada, and that's extremely surprising. Um, in fact, actually, I think New Hampshire, um, his approval rating might have dropped down, but it's lower in Missouri than it is in Nevada, and that's extremely surprising. Jason Kander coming from that state, almost winning a Senate seat here, definitely could help him here. Um, going up to a state like Iowa, I mean, he has the vote, he has the appeal. I think he would win the state of Iowa, especially with their... Um, he doesn't really need minorities to win in some of his home states. Um, he doesn't really have that much of a minority appeal factor. But then we're going to go over to a state like Ohio, where I think Donald Trump would retain Ohio. But ultimately, Jason Kander would win the election with 297 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 244. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll be making an election night soon. Again, <laughs> for the second time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.